Hello everyone, welcome back again. Appreciate you stopping by. Today I'm going to restore the headlights on my daily driver. They are starting to get a little fogged over and I watched some YouTube videos on, on a quick easy fix for it. So I figured I'd give it a try. I'm going to be using a uh, kind of a cheap Craftsman buffer polisher. It's not really a true buffer but a neighbor of mine moved away a few years back and gave it to me. It's all I have, so I figure I'm going to give that a try. So uh, let's get to the headlights and we'll see how this works out. Here we are with the passenger headlight. The haze isn't real bad on this side. It's not terrible, but I wanted to try to knock this out before it does get terrible. It's more prevalent up here on the top than in the front. Hopefully you can see that. Let's take a look at the driver's side. And here's the driver's side again. It's not as bad as the passenger side, but there is some hazing there. So let me get the buffer out and we'll give this a go and see what happens. What I'm using here is just a cheapy Craftsman buffer. A neighbor moved out a couple years ago and he gave me this. So his price is right as a freebie. So let's give this a try and see what it does. All right, I'm just using some Meguiar's rubbing compound. Nothing special. Going to spread it on the headlight and see what we can do with it. So here's the headlights after I'm done. Literally took about five minutes per side. A little bit longer on the passenger side here. It was worse than the driver's side. Didn't turn out perfect, but it's a lot better. Let's take a look at the driver's side. And here's the driver's side. It turned out a little bit better, but it wasn't as bad to begin with. For a 15 minute repair, I think it went pretty smoothly. So as you can see, it's pretty damn hot out here today, but uh, normally I'm not this red, but it's, it's pretty hot out here. So anyway, um, as you can see on the headlights, it, it worked out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, probably would have came out much better with a real buffer, but uh, I didn't want to spend $30, $40, $50 on one just to, just to see if it actually works, and, and it does. So uh, on my wife's car, they're starting to get a little fog too, so I may do those in the future. And if I do those, I'll probably buy, you know, spend the money on a real buffer and, uh, and get it done really nice. And I'll redo mine at that point also. So I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.